Hello and welcome to the 16th set of problems on arithmetic progression, geometric progression and harmonic progression. So uh, before I start I will say my typical lines that is if you cannot solve the problem yourself only then look at the solution. While I am reading the problem you should pause the video and try to solve the problem yourself. Also these problems are slightly involving so I will go slow. Uh, compared to my normal speed so let's get started problem 151 says that find sigma k is equal to 1 to n this should be 1 tan inverse 2k by 2 plus k square plus k to the power 4 so we have tn is equal to tan inverse 2n by 2 plus n square n to the power 4 we take we split 2 we write it as 1 plus 1 then we rewrite this 1 plus n square plus n to the power 4 as 1 plus no this, this one shouldn't be there n square plus 1 whole square minus n square that becomes tan inverse 2n by 1 plus n square plus n plus 1 into n square minus n plus 1 that is tan inverse n square plus n plus 1 minus trans, minus n square minus n plus 1 divided by 1 plus n square plus n plus 1 into n square minus n plus 1. So this we can write as tan inverse n square plus n plus 1 minus tan inverse n square minus n plus 1. Now we substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. So t1 will become n tan inverse 3 minus tan inverse 1. t2 will become tan inverse 7 minus tan inverse 3 and so on. So this tan inverse 3 will get cancelled here. Tan inverse 7 will also get cancelled. Here, this will get cancelled with this, and this will get cancelled with the previous terms. So what will remain is this guy, tan inverse n square plus n plus 1, and tan inverse 1. So the final sum would be n square plus n divided by n square plus n plus 2. Problem 152 says that, show that 1 to the power 4 by 1 dot 3 plus 2 to the power 4 by 3 dot 5 plus 3 to the power 4 by 5 dot 7 and so on up to n to the power 4 by 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 is equal to n into 4n square plus 6n plus 5 by 48 plus n by 16 into 2n plus 1. So our tn is n to the power 4 by 4n square minus 1. We write, we write this as 1 by 16 into 16 n to the power 4 by 4n square minus 1. We split this, uh, not split this, we add and subtract 1 to this. So we rewrite it as 16 n square n to the power 4 minus 1 plus 1 by 4 n square minus 1. Now this can be written as 4 n square minus 1 into 4 n square plus 1. So when divided by 4 n square minus 1, what will remain is 4 n square plus 1. And then this 1 by 4 n square minus 1 it remains, which can be written as 1 by 2 n minus 1 into 2 n plus 1. So this entire thing is 1 by 16 into 4 n square plus 1 plus 1 by 2. Now we split this using partial fraction. We get 1 by 2n minus 1 minus 1 by 2n plus 1. Once we have tn, summing is very easy. We can sum n square as n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. We can sum 1 as n. And this will be conjugative terms where most of the things will cancel out. Only 1 and 2n plus 1 will remain. So we simplify that to arrive at the final answer. Problem 153, 153 says that if a1, a2 up to an and so on are in AP with first term a and common difference d, find the sum for r greater than 1 of a1, a2 up to ar plus a2, a3 up to ar plus 1 up to n terms. So here the kth term would be tk is equal to ak plus ak into ak plus 1 up to ak plus r minus 1 and k plus 1h term would be ak plus 1 into ak plus 2 up to ak plus r. Now you can clearly observe that if you multiply tk with ak plus r that is the next term after this and we multiply this with ak that is the term before this then both will be equal. Now we expand this in terms of a and d. So it becomes a1 plus k plus r minus 1 into d this guy ak plus r we expanded it into tk and we expand ak it becomes a1 plus k minus 1 into d tk plus 1 
Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to maintain a symmetric difference between TK and TK plus 1 so that we can cancel out the alternating terms. So what we do is we take part of this that is 1 plus R into D TK to the right hand side. We bring this to the left hand side. So it becomes A1 plus K minus 2 into D TK is minus a1 plus k minus 1 into d t k plus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus r d t k. So if we do this, then this will lead us to a minus 0, a minus d into t1 minus a1 plus 0 d into t2 is equal to minus 1 plus r d t1. So how we have arrived at this is, we substitute k is equal to 1. If you substitute k is equal to 1, this will become minus 1 into d, that is minus d. And this will become 0. And this tk will become t1, this tk plus 1 will become t2, and tk will become t1. When you substitute k is equal to 2, this will become 0. So a plus 0, t2 minus, this will become a1 plus 2 minus 1, that is d and t3. And this will become minus 1 into a, a, minus in 1 plus r into d t2 and it proceeds so on so you see this will get cancelled with this that is a plus 0 d2 d t2 and this will get cancelled with the next term and similarly if you follow this this will get cancelled with the previous terms uh, negative term so if you add all this you will get a minus d t1 that is this guy over here and you will get this guy that is a1 plus n minus 1 into d whole multiplied with tn plus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus rd into t1 plus t2 up to tn. So we take this, we write over here and r plus 1d goes here. Now this will come before this, this will become positive. So this term is a n and we write that combined with tn plus 1 it becomes a n, a n plus 1 up to a n plus r and this is a0 a minus d is a0 and t1 is a1 through ar so the entire thing becomes a0 through ar and whole divided by r plus 1 into d so go through this carefully because it is slightly involving problem in terms of notation and what we are trying to do and it might take a while to actually let the solution to sink so 154 says that if a1, a2, an up, up to an and so on are in AP and none of them is 0, then prove that 1 by a1, a2 up to ar, <coughs> sorry, plus 1 by a2, a3 up to ar plus 1 and so on up, up to 1 by an, an plus 1 up to an, an plus r minus 1 is equal to 1 by r minus 1, a2 minus a1 whole multiplied with 1 by a1 a2 up to ar minus 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1 a n plus 2 up to a n plus r minus 1. Now this is quite similar to the previous problem. So our kth term tk can be written as 1 by a k into k plus 1 into up to a k plus r minus 1. And k plus 1 term can be written as tk plus 1 is equal to 1 by a k plus 1 a k plus 2 up to a k plus r. Now if you observe carefully, if you multiply t k with a k, that is a k gets cancelled, then it will remain from k plus 1 to k plus r minus 1. And this guy, if you multiply it with a k plus r, then this will get cancelled and it will remain up to a k plus 1, that is start from here and will end at k plus r minus 1. So we proceed similarly like the previous problem and we arrive at the relationship for a k here a plus k minus 1 into d t k minus we write for t k here a k plus r t k plus 1 a plus k d t k plus 1 and on the right hand side we have the residue d into r minus 1 t k plus 1 so like previous problem we substitute k is equal to 1 2 3 and so on so you notice that it will start from t2 t3 and so on so here we have added t1 as well this t1 will not come from the sum in this you have to add that separately so once you do that we have added that here so once you add here 
you have to add to left hand side as well that is this guy this should be one not r minus t so this guy has come because we have multiplied t1 here so now it is a matter of simplifying the equations and arriving at the result problem 155 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 1 by 1 dot 2 dot 3 dot 4 plus 1 by 2 dot 3 dot 4 dot 5 plus 1 by 3 dot 4 dot 5 dot 6 and so on so we can write the ith term as 1 by i plus i into i plus 1 into i plus 2 into i plus 3 and i plus 1 is term as 1 by i plus 1 into i plus 2 into i plus 3 into i plus 4 so we can see that if you multiply ti with i and i plus 1 with i plus 4 then our left hand side and right hand side will be same so now we can write that i ti minus i plus 1 ti plus 1 is equal to 3 into ti plus 1 so again we substitute i is equal to 1 2 3 and so on we add all this 2t2 will get cancelled 3t3 will get cancelled and minus 1 ti will get cancelled uh, this should be tn minus 1 not ti so what will remain is t1 and nt1 ntn so we have t1 minus ntn and we add all this ah this should be t2 to tn t1 will not be here so in the next step we add 3t1 and we add c1 3t1 to the left hand side it becomes 4t1 so now we have the value of t1 through tn as 1 by 18 minus 1 by 3 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 Problem 156 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 3 by 2 into 4 into 6 plus 4 by 2 into 3 into 5. Ah, yes, plus 5 by 3 into 4 into 6. So, numerator is missing from denominator in this sequence. So, we write Tn as n plus 2 by n into n plus 1 into n plus 3. So, we divide and multiply with n plus 2, we get n plus 2 whole square by n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. So numerator becomes n square plus 4n plus 4. We split this. We take 4 to this side. And n square plus 4n becomes n into n plus 4. We again split n into n plus 4 uh, into two terms. n into n plus 1 and 3n. And we finally arrive at the nth term as 1 by n plus 2 into n plus 3 plus 3 by n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. And 4 by n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. Now we have found Tn, now we can find the sum because of this, like previous problem, we can find the sum for this and sum for this. So like previous problem, you can solve this, it will be a complicated this uh, one, that's why I have escaped this and I will leave this to you to solve this problem and final value is this. Problem 157 says that find 1 by 1 multiplied with 3 plus 2. 1 into 3 into 5 plus 3 in, divided by 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 up to n terms. So our nth term in this case is n by 1.3.5.7 up to 2n plus 1. So this we can write as 1 by 2 multiplied with 1 by 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 in, up to 2n minus 1 minus 1 by 3 into 5 into 7 up to 2n plus 1. So now we substitute n is equal to 1 we get T1 as 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 1 dot 3 and T2 will become 1 by 2 multiplied with 1 by 1 into 3 minus 1 by 1 into 3 into 5 and Tn we have just obtained here. So if you sum all this, this 1 by 3 will get cancelled here, 1, 3, 5 will get cancelled with T3 and for Tn this will get cancelled with the previous term. So our SN is 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 up to 2n plus 1 <coughs> sorry problem 158 says that find 2 by 1 into 3 into 1 by 3 plus 3 by 3 into 5 into 1 by 3 square plus 4 by 5 into 7 into 1 by 3 cube and so on up to n terms so here tn is n plus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n so applying partial fraction we rewrite this as 1 by 4 into 3 by 2n minus 1 minus 1 by 2n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n. So we take 3n inside and we have this. 
once we have obtained this value of tn we can write t1 t2 t3 like this and you will see that this will get cancelled with this this will get cancelled with this and this will get cancelled with that tn minus one term so now we have found the sn is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 minus 1 by 2n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n so you observe that there is a constant theme in this kind of problems that you observe uh, you uh, write the terms as difference of two quantities in such a manner that one of them is common to the next one so that they get cancelled problem 159 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 1 by 3 plus 3 by 3 into 7 plus 5 by 3 into 7 into 11 and so on so nth term can be written as 2n minus 1 divided by 3 dot 5 dot 7 dot 11 up to 4n minus 1 <coughs> sorry uh, i have a bit of cold so that's why i'm coughing so this we can rewrite as 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 into 5 into 7 up to 4n minus 5 and this is separate okay this is over here minus 1 by 3 dot 5 dot 7 up to 4 and plus 1 so now uh, our tn is different here t1 is different so we don't take t1 we write from t2 t3 and so on up to tn and this will get cancelled and so on so t1 when we add we write the value of t1 here specifically and for all this sum will we have 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 which is here and will be this will this is also wrong this should be here so it's a common mistake so we have this over here that is 1 by 3 into 7 up to 11 up to 4 and minus 1 so we have sn is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 into 7 into 11 up to 4 and minus 1 Problem number 160 says that find the sum of the series 1 plus 2 into 1 minus a plus 3 into 1 minus a into 1 minus 2a plus 4 into 1 minus a into 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 3a up to m terms. This should be n. So we have tn is equal to so much. What we do is we multiply n with minus a. So we divide this with minus a. So minus n a is here we add one to this and we subtract one from it so what will happen is we take one minus n a and multiply with all this so we get up to here and then we take this minus one and we put it here why we have done this is because this will become tn minus one or rather the cancelling part you see there is clearly a possibility of cancellation that's why we have done this circus so now we substitute t1 is equal to minus 1 by a 1 minus a minus 1 and t2 is equal to similarly you write that this q will not be here and so on up to tn tn is missing here so you add all this so this will get cancelled with this this will get cancelled with the next terms and similarly this will get cancelled so this minus 1 will remain which will become positive and multiply with minus 1 by a which is here and this will remain negative which is here so with this we come to the end of 16th set of the problems and i hope that you have enjoyed this video and found it useful if so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that it can reach more people and more people benefit from it if you have a comment question or you want to say something about the video or you might want to ask videos on certain topic then use the comment box to convey your thoughts thanks a lot for watching enjoy